Hey everybody, it's Adam from Encounter Wargaming, and today I want to bring to you some cool new stuff from Alien Lab Miniatures. We got square bases, we got terrain, and we got miniatures. <laughs> So, Alien Lab Miniatures has changed their name because they don't just make bases anymore. They do full-blown miniatures, which is super cool, and they do terrain. I'm super excited about this. We got some uh, some little terrain pieces, little scatter throw terrain pieces um, that match some of the existing basing themes that are out there for the resin bases, which is going to be really cool. Um, you can you can add them to you know other senior projects or a table or whatever you want. So um, so yeah, definitely I'm excited to show these guys to you. If you're still into some of the fantasy games or or D and D or whatever, then you can jazz up your existing models with some really cool resin bases um, and uh, and lastly oh man I can't wait to show you these four dwarf heroes that that have just come out from alien lab miniatures so without further ado let's jump down onto the table and the hobby desk and have a look all right now we got some cool square bases first up on this um, we got kind of two patterns each in their own set we got these like cool dwarven rune ones and then these neat like almost uh, Celtic weave ones and so there you go some really intricate patterns um, for this top one all on like broken r slate rock and stuff so I'll show you up close on a couple of them very intricate very detailed very very unique they're gonna make your dwarves or other fantasy miniatures just really pop this one's one of my favorites so good a couple close-ups on these uh, weaves what do you call it? Celtic knots. Very cool. Show you one with like a little uh, satchel booklet on there. Too cool, too cool. Some of the best in the business. There you go, some square 25 millimeter bases. This uh, next thing I'm really excited about. Let's jump in. Bam, look at these. Check this out. This is next level basing right here. So I got two things uh, on display here. First off, I have this basing kit. It's a Dwarven basing kit. Okay, so these pieces you would add to bases that you are making custom, probably larger bases. You'd like, you'd glue this down onto it, put some more rubble, um, maybe, you know, a couple tufts of grass or whatever. And so these you would add to a base that you already have or that you're making to make them extra, extra cool. Um, so now let's put these out. Of, actually, no, before I put them out of the way, let me show you them nice and up close look at that mean mug right there it's just a big rock statue okay so you'd add that to your base same with this guy you could also add this to any terrain you're making um look at that face so this one's like a fallen over statue love the crown that's over his head look at those ears and the cool thing is is these look like rock statues they don't look just like sculpted dwarven faces super super cool very, very neat. All right. Great beards, great noses, great carved rock look on the back. This guy's another fallen over one. So you see you glue it, glue it down. Glue it down to that flat surface there. He's fallen over. Dwarven king statue or something like that. Chunk taken out of his nose. Chunk taken out of his mustache. Very cool. Definitely looks like a fallen dwarf statue. So there you go. Now these are existing bases. So you can see it's a 25 millimeter square. And these are super cool because dwarves are so short. They obviously need something to stand on. I just picture like, uh, you know, well, Aragorn's not a dwarf, but I just picture Aragorn from Lord of the Rings standing on top of one of these as he gives the... Uh, um, the, the motivational speeches are standing at the gates of Mordor to the free peoples of Middle Earth and just saying, there will be a day when, when the time of men shall end, but it is not this day, you know, but he's, he's like standing up on this big cool rock or something like that. So this is just, this would take one of your character models to the next level and really make them stand out on the battlefield. So there you go. Look at that. Look at that. It's almost like he's wearing a beret or something. <laughs> this artisan dwarf. Dwarf nobility, carved and etched in stone, immortalized, beautiful. This is so cool. This is big, like a big uh, rock. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but like fantasy, sixth edition fantasy, 
uh, one of the magical items that your dwarf lord could take is called an oath stone and he would uh, he would drop that in the ground <laughs> imagine your dwarf unit got charged on all sides you drop down your oath stones so you, you make your unit unbreakable so they couldn't flee and your dwarf lord would just challenge people and stand on his big rock and the unit would fight around him so cool so I could just picture this being like an oath stone so it could totally represent that magical item right there of course, going to give you guys a close-up look at all of these. They are very, very cool. A mean mug. Why a mean mug and me, dog? Of course, they all have a nice spot for all the models to stand on top. And then this one is more like a demon head thing. So there you go. Use this on one of your chaos uh, sorcerers or something like that. Horns sticking out. Obviously, a statue carved into rock again. It's like a, almost like a chaos dwarf looking guy definitely evil very very cool kind of like rune sculpted in on top there on the floor very neat and last but not least a chain sticking out of his nose very cool that would just make for some epic looking characters right there all right so I have um, one final batch of stuff to show you and that is um, kind of one more epic epic base yes it gets even bigger and better than this and then I have a bunch of terrain to show you so let's jump into that I had to show you this one all on its own this is like a I don't know what is it 50 mil base it's how wide two and a half two and a half bases wide for the, uh, for the 25 mils so I don't know 55 mil 60 mil base or something like that and look at this it's massive dude's got like a full-on tree trunk coming out of there and this is just a big stone sculpture of a mean looking dwarf dude big nose big eyebrows big beard ominous ominous eyes like scary looking dude you do not want to mess with him broken rune tablets scattered around vines growing off the side skulls a dwarven shield just tossed and laying there maybe this is an ancient tomb to an ancient dwarf lord or something like that very very cool let's check out some terrain and here i have a bunch of terrain pieces this stuff is really great and it can be used for a multitude of different things um, some of the things that i thought of that you could use these for one making really really large monster bases that much more interesting because you could easily glue these onto the base with some of your other custom basing stuff um, like your 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 dwarven basin kit or or whatever have you um, just to jazz up those monsters war machines um, immediately i think of the uh, the flying uh, balloon ships for the Age of Sigmar dwarves, um, the Duardin, and uh, you know you could, yeah, you could throw these down on some of those bases, which would be really cool. Jazz them up a little bit. You could also add these to uh, larger terrain projects that you're working on. So you could take. Um, like a big dwarven temple or something like that uh you know the entryway to uh, a cavern in a mountain and jazz them up with some of these bits um you could make a grave site you could make a chapel you can make all sorts of stuff and use these little train bits to jazz them up lastly you can use them just as they are as throw train or scatter train which would be really cool so just throw these around your battlefield just for some flavor some small line of sight blocking pieces of terrain or or barricade type of uh type of things so here we go. So let's jump in. Um, so there are a few things here. There's some Celtic Kings statues and these guys are really cool. Let's get it up close and personal on these dudes. So just look at the detail, beautiful crowns, very regal looking, very mean looking like these guys you do not want to mess with if they were alive to see you today i love the earrings sculpted on this guy like he was a regal king he liked nice things <laughs> standing up on this big rock on the bottom here cross has been overgrown by vines very cool so detailed very well done i love these things and then this guy Love the chest piece with the bear claw icon on it. More vines overgrown onto him. Just busted up rock. Very cool. 
Here's the Perun Slavic Monument. Now this dude is the same dude um, who's like, he's got a, a broken version of this statue that is on the uh, graveyard bases. So if you use those graveyard bases for your army, you could totally use this guy um, as, uh, as part of the terrain to match your, your personal army, which would be really cool. Love this shield here. Skulls. It's even like an intricate pattern carved into here to make this like, I don't know what, what might have been like a multi-tiered statue or something. Very cool vine growing in on the side there. Love it. Love it. The Perun Slavic Monument. Um, next up, we got men here. Uh, maybe that means something, um, but I don't know what it means, but this the train piece is called men here. This one is the only one that's actually in two pieces. This little cross is a separate piece. You just clip it off the little sprue it comes on and glue it down there. Super easy to build. Took me 10 seconds. Um, very cool. Just like a big Easter egg, like looks like a carved out of a massive rock and they were carving designs into it. Um, it was naturally getting overgrown by some of these vines here. Um, it's gonna be like, uh, if you lift up this slab there, you know, you could say there's some kind of hidden relic in there. There's definitely some kind of shield here with the same bear claw symbol as the, uh, as the king. So I don't know, you could use this in, in D and E, uh, D and D as like a, who knows, like a treasure chest is buried under there or something. It's very mystical looking. It's very yeah, mysterious almost like you don't know what really what it is. Um, could be a grave site. That's, that's all it could be, but who knows, you know, you gotta, you gotta approach it, check it out and hope you don't get zapped by whatever magical forces are behind this thing. Very, very cool. And then you have these Celtic crosses. So these are also the same as the Celtic crosses that are busted up on your graveyard, um, bases. So you could really set the scene, um, by using these, the Slavic monument and the graveyard bases together, um, for just some, just a really cool, uh, uh, hobby theme for your, uh, um, yeah, for your graveyard style army. So there you go. Super, super detailed faces carved into them for whoever, uh, these grave sites are for <laughs> very sinister, very weird looking. Love it. All right. And then my favorite. The two dwarf fallen statues, they are massive. Busted up crown, falling over in the dirt. Like, look at this dude, so much detail. Gnarly nose, wicked mustache. Very, very neat. Very, very neat. And this guy, ugh, he's just, he's so sinister looking for a dwarf. He's almost, actually, look at that, he's almost sad looking. Like he knew he should have been a full on statue, but he just didn't make it. Just so much character to these guys. It's almost like this was supposed to be carved into his, his big piece of armor shouldering and it just never, um, the work of finishing the statue never got finished. And so it just sunk into the earth. Such a sad story for a Dwarven King. Great, I love this stuff. So good, great for scatter terrain, making large bases better, um, or enhancing large terrain projects. And so on that note, I have four things to show you because Alien Lab Miniatures isn't just into doing resin bases and terrain, but they do some really cool fantasy miniatures. Let's check out some. All right, look at this fantastic four. This is a hardy crew of wandering dwarves. And man, I just, I just love these models. So much character. They were so simple to build. Um, one of them was only one piece. So you just had to attach it to the base and, and all the rest were only two pieces. So very, very simple models to build, but still so dynamic, so much character. And uh, I just really love what's going on with these dwarves. And, uh, and I brought in some of these bases again because I want to show you what you can really do with them and what it looks like to have miniatures on them. So first up we have Dwarf Lord Boren. Look at this guy. You ready? Oh, he is a bald meanie. Look at that nose. The nose is bigger than his face. Shield. Very cool. Beat up axe. That axe has seen some battle for sure. Beautifully sculpted fur on the back. 
Very nice cloak, armor plating, so intricately detailed. Look at those nice straight, just sharp lines on all this stuff. It's beautiful. Chain mail coming out the bottom. Amazing. There is Dwarf Lord Boren. Now, you can put him on the 25 mil base that he comes with, and he would look superb with that. Or you could stand him up on his oath stone where he will take on all enemies of the dwarven kingdom why would you not this is the question <laughs> now next up i have a dwarf wanderer and this guy he is my favorite of the bunch so much character um it's like runic staff simple little rune carved in here the skull on the end of it um he is possibly a magician who knows you never really know with these wanderers um, one arm just holding on to this uh, this backpack satchel thing um, looks very cool I love the like just tattered tattered hair unkempt beard just with one braid in there coming down the middle a little pouch on the front and you know whatever this metal plate is guarding the his his front there beautiful little hood and cloak very very neat love this miniature love this miniature paint them up use them in dnd use them in whatever you want you use them as a, a dwarf runesmith or wizard or, or or whatever and now because he is a wanderer he's obviously on an adventure and so he w should stand right upon this rock here all right and Backing him up, we have Dwarf Lord Balzud. That's this guy right here. Of course, he comes with his 25 mil base. Oops. Sorry, Dragon Hunter. You stay there. Balzud, make an appearance. Aha, there he is. Just love this little thing on his back. Big shoulder pad. Very regal looking shield. Eye patch to boot. This guy is out to break some heads. You do not mess with Dwarf Lord Ball Z. No way, sir. <laughs> the beard all, all, uh, all tied up into this big metal, I don't know, beard holder. <laughs> so cool and beautiful fur cloak on the back. Now this piece, was, this axe piece, was only, the only separate piece. Beautiful, look, almost like stone looking axe, but obviously it's metal, it's just really beat up. Dude's been crumping. Very pretty, very, very, very pretty. Fantastic detail. Look at the, the sharp lines, man. I didn't even know how you do that. So cool. All right, and obviously he's backing up his buddy. So we'll just create a little battle scene right here and put him as his bodyguard. Boom, there you go. Look at that. So much flavor just brought to that little base right there. All right, and lastly, we have the Dragon Hunter Lord. Amazing. Again, a two-piece model. So this, this halberd staff that he's carrying is the only separate piece. Attaches at the wrist. Side profile of a little bird on his helmet. Very cool. Look at the hair coming down here. Or the, I don't know, the mane of the helmet. Very, very neat. Dwarf rune on the halberd here. Just these carvings are so neat. Chainmail, leggings, pouches. Very cool. Like ponytail style, the big rune to kind of hold them all together. And then what looks to be like dragon scale cloak on the back here. Nice open muscular arm here. Show off them tries and buys, sir. Love it. And that face. So much character on that face. Wonderful. So cool. So there you go. There you have the four dwarves. Let's put you right up there on that base. Of course. Why would you not be up there, sir? Making a stand on your oath stone. Carved dwarf head so amazing all right guys there's the fantastic four we got dwarf lord boren dwarf lord balzid the dwarf wanderer and the dragon hunter lord thus concludes this video let's wrap this up so you've seen it for yourself wow that stuff is so cool so 
Guys, make sure you jump down there, support a new company, go to the link below alienlab.store to see what is going on over there at Alien Lab Miniatures. They are making new stuff what almost by the week they are putting an update for a new product on their store he he posts videos of him sculpting new things so you can see firsthand on their facebook page what is going on these guys are with it they are on top of it and uh and their product line is growing weekly like i said so lots of cool stuff to look forward to guys support these guys who knows what they could do if we keep pushing them forward who knows what cool stuff we get um, so there you go. There you have it. That is it for me today. Guys, if you want to support the channel, jump down there, hit subscribe. Super simple. You could click the little bell even so you know when future videos come out. You could also get one of our cool new t-shirts, Encounter Wargaming t-shirts off Spreadshirt. Do that. Um, and lastly, the best way that you can support us is going down there to the link below to uh, Patreon, where for as little as a dollar a video, you can support everything we do here at the channel. Battle reports, painting tutorials, terrain tutorials, all the cool stuff that we have. And so we would love if you did that. Folks, that's all for today. We will see you at our next encounter.